Okay, hey, my name is Tracy McHugh of Sumner News Cal, and this is Cade Phelps. He is going to be a sophomore, is that correct, yes. on, the vet, on the football team? We're going to do a little experiment here. We're going to see how long it will take to go from the football field to the locker room. Well, we have this door locked over here, but we will start it. I'm going to go time it, and we'll see how far he can run in a football jog, like a typical football jog at halftime to get to the middle school locker room, okay? I'm gonna do a timing of that, and I'm gonna like ride the car because I'm fat and lazy. But how long do you think it takes? We used to have the locker, we used to have the locker rooms there at the Wellington Old Junior High, and that took, and that was just sold recently to a developer in, Miss, in Missouri. How long do you think it took you guys to get up there and back? Walking, I would say maybe two minutes. Did you usually walk it or did you jog it? Um, on the way back, like during halftime, we usually jogged it. You usually jogged it? Yes. Okay. So, and how long were you in the locker rooms there, probably? Um, 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe. Was that enough time to give you? Um, there's more to talk about, I guess, but it, it gave us enough time, yeah. It gave you enough time. Okay. Okay. Kate is about ready to run. He's got a timer on his smartphone. Go ahead and show us there. Okay, and then he's going to start running as if he's ready. We're at halftime. We're saying we're playing Rose Hill, and we're leading 21 to 7. And Coach Ryan's got all the football players. Remember, he's got to gather the football players, not just one person, and get out of this gate here. We assume that he will probably go this way, down the street to the middle school parking lot, into the to the boys' locker room, don't you say, right there by the by the doors here. So we're going to time him to see how far it will go. All right, and why don't we go starting now? Okay, we're back, and Cade is on his way to the locker room. Remember, you're multiplying Cade by about 50 or 60, depending on how many people go out for football. And they're going to the locker room here. All right. Now open in there. Okay. Now we've got a but, but we got to get the opposing team as well in here. All right. Now he's walking to the locker room. Him and 60 other boys. We're gonna lose some light here. What was the time? Two minutes 25 seconds. Two minutes 25 seconds. So. Okay, that's two minutes 25 that's going in and two minutes going, two, 25 going out. We probably would say probably five minutes mm -hmm. just with you. Now you multiply that by about 60, wouldn't you say? Yeah, 60 kids right. times the other team. Rosio could be bringing 80 people, so we might have, we could have access to probably 140 kids, right? Five minutes out of 15 minutes, so we've got to be, what time do you, we usually get back on the football field? Wait, about three minutes left or so. Three minutes, you got to have three minutes to warm up? Yeah, stretch and stuff. Now, if you're a quarterback, you got to have a couple, you got to do reps? Uh, yeah, just play catch. Okay, so you're talking probably five minutes, let's add another minute, just so people can get in and out of there. You've got coaches that probably won't be, I mean, they probably... You got nine minutes. You got six minutes probably to talk, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. If you could get everybody settled down. So that's that's the dilemma they have there. That's all thank Kate here. 